Good morning, and welcome to Redeemer Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Gary Lodeholt. You've heard me say before that one of the questions, that's the wrong, sorry, I've got the wrong, uh, um, wrong one up. Let me get to the right one. Oh, went too far. Okay. There's more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 who need no repentance. Jesus said that, and I suspect that most of the time we try to believe it. I suspect that even more of the time we think of ourselves as one of the 99, which might lead us to think about our own hypocritical self-righteousness. But let's take a minute and focus on that word in that sentence, that word joy. What an amazing word. Joy, it seems to me, is deeper than happiness. Joy, it seems to me, is not only felt inside, but bursts out in expression to and with those around you. And that's what happens in the story of Zacchaeus, too. Today we will spend one more day looking at Bible humor, and today we want to focus on the well-known story of Zacchaeus. Let me just remind you of it. First, the background. No one liked tax collectors. We don't now, and they certainly didn't then. You see, tax collection in those days worked differently than it does today. In those days, Israel was occupied by Rome, and so the people weren't paying taxes to their own government, but to a foreign government. If you think taxes are unpopular now, they were even more so then. The Romans figured out how much tax they were owed in a certain region, and then they contracted with a local person to collect them however they could. As long as the money came in, the Romans didn't care how the money was collected. So the tax collector went from merchant to farmer, assessing what was owed. This was your neighbor, the man you grew up with, assessing you this payment. Plus, he was working with the Romans and that made him a collaborator with the enemy. People didn't like tax collectors at all. But then it gets worse. You see, the tax collector's salary came from whatever he could shake out of you beyond what the Romans demanded. So you have to pay tax to the enemy and then pay the salary of the man collecting it too. And if the tax collector was rich, well, you knew he was bilking you of much more than what was right. Tax collectors were hated. So in our story today, Jesus comes to Jericho, and it was in a time when the opposition to Jesus was getting strong. So everyone wanted to see this man who was stirring everyone up, and that included the town tax collector named Zacchaeus. Now, Zacchaeus was how shall I put it, somewhat vertically challenged? In other words, he was short. And of course, no one in the crowd was going to let him get up front. He might have been lucky to avoid getting punched a few times in the crowd. So finally, this little man climbed up a scrawny sycamore tree to see over the crowd. Now that's a humorous image right there. This little man already up a tree with his neighbors, literally up a tree. Jesus sees him there and calls his name and invites himself over for lunch. And when it's all said and done, Zacchaeus is a changed man, promising to give to the poor and to return to anyone he had defrauded four times as much. And that's where I think the joy burst out of Jesus. Today, salvation has come to this house, Jesus said, his face likely beaming. What joy there is that even this person is a child of God. And when you come to the realization that the grace given to Zacchaeus is the same grace offered to you, well, the joy just has to burst out of you. What can you do but laugh at God's audacious grace? What can you do but be filled with mirth at God's overwhelming, irresistible love? What can you do but be filled with joy as God reaches to your neighbor and also to you? 
Thanks for watching, and remember to let this day belong to God.